Hey guys, we are working on a new gizmo today. This one is definitely one of my favorites. It is uh, super interesting. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. We are working on the digestive system gizmo. And because we have only a free trial with this program, this is what it's going to uh, this is what it's going to look like. Um, you guys are going to hop on. You are going to log in by clicking on the link here, the Explore Learning link. Now, because you are technically going to be in a new class, you can still use your old username and password that you have um, saved, or you can go ahead and create a new one. It does not matter, and I'll explain that here in a second. So as you go through and... Um, okay, so if you click on our login and enroll right here on the class code, um, here's what you're going to do. If you have a login, that's okay. Do not... Do you do not, do not have to log in yet? This has worked better out if it worked better if we've done it this way. Click on login or enroll in class or in this little thing right here, and I'll give you the code. All right, so what you're going to put in for the code XQWB5C. You will put that in that uh, that when you click on login and enroll in that bottom left hand corner box. And then you'll go ahead and click on the, the blue button there. I think it was blue. Um, once you do that, it'll it's going to take you to the screen where it has the different color rectangles. If you know your login, that center rectangle, you can just go ahead and click on it and enter your login information. If you cannot remember or you can't figure it out, that is okay. Click on that bottom one and you can create a new username and password. You do not have to put your email in. That's what's nice about this uh, website. Your email, you can just kind of leave out. So just make a new username and password. I would make your password your 202 number. Uh, so once you get in and you log in, for some people, the gizmo is not popping up right away. All right, and so our gizmo is going to look like this, the digestive system. If that does not show up, all you gotta do is come up here, click on your name, log out and then log back in and it should show up all right for, i don't know why it's doing that but if you're having issues with it coming up go ahead and, and try that try logging all the way out and then log back in and it should pop up um, you might be into enrolled in two classes just find the one that says remote all right that'll be your class and, and it should should pop up for you uh for you to work on um now, once you do that, if you go back to classroom and you open up the digestive system uh, gizmo worksheet, it might be in the top right hand corner for you. Open that up. All right, what I want you to do is put your name down, but I also want you to put your username and password down. That way you remember it the next time that we get in here and we work on this. Okay, so put in your username and password right here so you can hop back on it uh, tomorrow. So once you do that, before we get into the gizmo, we have a couple prior knowledge questions. I want you to tell me why we need to eat food in this box and then tell me how do you think our bodies break down food, uh, break food down into useful nutrients. And you'll put that in this box. All right, so those are your prior knowledge questions before we even get to the gizmo. All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split screen so I can see everything here. I like to do that and then I might zoom out of this a little bit so I can see the full page. Just makes everything just a little bit easier. All right, so there's my worksheet that I'm gonna be working on. I'm gonna go ahead and launch my gizmo, have it over here on the other side. All right, so now we have our warm up for our gizmo. All right, here's our gizmo. So it says the digestive system gizmo is a group of organs that does three things. First, the digestive system breaks down food into nutrients through a process called digestion. This is what we've been talking about. Next, the nutrients move into the bloodstream, a process called absorption. We haven't talked much about that, but we're going to learn a lot about that here. And then finally, the leftover waste is removed from the body in a process called elimination. So it says to begin, look at the organs in the large organ tab. So when you launch your gizmo, you're going to see we have a large organ tab. We have a small organ tab. We have food, all right, and then we have our analysis tab. So it wants us to stay in our large organ tab. And so what they want you to do is they want you to go through and answer these three questions, all right? The first question says, which organs allow nutrients to be absorbed? 
All right, and how you're going to find that is for all of these organs, you can hover over and it's going to give you information right up here at the top about each each set, each organ or each set of organs. So what you're going to do is you're going to look through here and look for what which ones of these absorb nutrients. All right, so you're going to hover over and read. All of your answers for this warm up are going to be here um, in the large organs. All right, so I want you to answer these three questions. Um, it, it says it pretty um, straightforward up here on that tab. Um, so I think there's probably two here that you're going to have down, one here, and then two here, all right, to answer those questions. So again, just hover over these and find your answers up there. Now, what we're going to be working on for today is activity A. Um, so there are, there's activity A, B, C, and D. Today we're just working on A. And right up here at the top, it always gives us our direction. So it says, if necessary, clear screen. Make sure there's nothing up there. And then it says, read the descriptions of the large organs as well as those in the small organs on the next tab. Okay, fill in the names of the organs that serve the functions below. So we have little bits of, the, of their, uh, their description. You're going to try to find which organ, it could be in the large tab or it could be in the small tab, which organ fits that description. All right, so it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, this says a basically word for word. Number two, you're gonna come down and you're gonna answer this question. They want you to build a system, all right, with, with large organs, starting with the mouth and pharynx. All right, they want you to build a system. All right, I'm just gonna build a random one here. All right. They want you to take a screenshot of it. And so remember, to take a screenshot, you need to hit hold the control button and then press the button right above the six, there's a little rectangle with two little lines to the right. When you do that, a box is going to pop up here in the right-hand corner and hit copy to clipboard. Then you can come over here to this box and paste it in. I want to see what your system looks like. It doesn't have to be a good system. It could, it just, it's just a regular system, um, whatever you want it to look like. They want you to put large organs and small organs on there. All right, but you have to start with the large organs first. Then you're going to predict how well it's going to work. All right, you're going to prepare. So it says select the food tab. All right. The energy we get is from calories. Uh, each calorie is equal to 4,184 joules of energy. And they want you to drag the cheeseburger up to the top here and then fill in how many calories it has. And it tells you right here on this table um, how many proteins it has. It tells you how many calories or the proteins it has and fat. All right, so enter those in from the table. And then on five, they want you to play it. All right, so let's, well, I'll, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna move it through quickly. Oops, if you pause it, you can speed it up, make it go through fast. Some great sound effects on this gizmo, by the way. Everybody in the house is gonna be wondering what the heck are you watching? Oh, no good. All right. So up here, it's going to tell you how well you digested that food. So it says it's complete. You absorb 0% of the calories and 0% of the water, resulting in 9.6 calories that did not enter the bloodstream because of missing capillaries or lymphatic vessels. So that doesn't sound very good. Okay. And so um, answer the questions. All right. Based on uh, the little information here. If you click on analysis, there's more information that it gives you, and you're going to need that for, for some of your questions. Um, and then go through, they want you to, to revise it, to fix it a, a little bit, um, and then replay it. Tell me, did it improve on any of the categories? And explain if it did improve and why you thought it, it did or did not. So um, you're, that is what you're working on for tomorrow. It's going to take a little bit of digging um, and research, uh, but uh, that is, that's your goal All right, for tomorrow is to go ahead and complete activity A uh, and the very first page of your gizmo. All right, turn it in when you're done, um, and then we'll work on the rest of the packet here the, the, uh, a few days this week. So uh, good luck. Have fun with it. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon, and uh, have a good day.